everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are out and about on an adventure! We are on a plant collecting expedition, very specifically a water plant collecting expedition. And don't worry about that snake over there, I'm pretty sure it is a totally harmless water snake. Very, very cute little green snake. It could be a garter snake. Um, let's see, it could be, I think there's like this really pretty twig leafy snake that's so, so tiny. It looks like a little blade of grass, native to North Carolina. I see it at the museum, I can't remember what it's called. But it could be many many harmless snakes that one particular one back there is not venomous So I'm not worried about it. But yes, we are out and about with our ladies We have Alia, Zoe, and Lily out here with us on our plant collecting expedition And we have been doing pretty good So the plants we are focusing on collecting right now are pretty much the water plants because we are working on the R Asian river exhibit my tongue twister exhibit I almost said the river ex like the river what you were supposed to be non venomous you betrayed me! Stop attacking my dogs! <laughs> okay, that was unexpected! <sighs> Alright, let's make sure everybody's okay. Come here, pup pups. Come here, and nothing's like spawning out of that little hole there. I'm actually kind of curious about this little spot, to be honest. We had a spider sneak out and try to eat me from down here earlier. Oh, it's not that big of a, a location. Maybe. Well, it keeps going, but that's all we're going to look at from here. Um, do I have my little bat pick with me to be able to get that? Where's bat pick? Bat pick, where are you? There you are. All right, let's go ahead. Goodness gracious. Been a busy day. Maybe feed the girls because they just saved me from that little snake. Just as I was going on and on about how harmless it was and it wasn't going to do us any, any, like harm we didn't need to go and mess with it we could just live and let live and then he turns around and he's like no i'm gonna try to eat you all right we actually need some of this marble that's why i'm gathering it really quickly no siri it's a plant collecting expedition focus focus marble can be found everywhere in fact it really can just oh aha. oh look it's so worth it it's so worth it because we found something really pretty and one of the dogs picked it up which is just fine all right well marble darn you I mean, I shouldn't say darn you, because at least it's showing up for us, but, ah, uh, dang it. I mean, we could make some really pretty things out of this marble now that I think of it. So, let me just go ahead and finish collecting it really quickly. Oh man, it just keeps going though. Marble deposits tend to be pretty big, so maybe we don't need to collect all of it. Especially now that it's so dark, I can't see what the heck's going on down here. Oh goodness. Oh goodness gracious. Nope, nope, we're just gonna, we're gonna stop any second now. Come on, Siri, you can stop. Ah, oh, darn it, I'm in collecting mode. I'm in collecting mode, woo. And there is a fossil of the unique variety to be collecting, actually. Man, we really don't go mining enough. And then once I start mining, I get super excited because I'm just totally focused on like, oh, it's so cool, look at what we're gathering. All right, so my ladies are definitely, somebody is picking all this up for me. I mean, that's something I can do. All right, ladies. Good job, Alia. She caught all that for me, so we can just focus on collecting plants. We don't need to worry about that. All right, back to plant collecting. Back at where we belong. All right, so we're going to get on the back of Sunflower, and we are going to be moving on and collecting more of the water plants pretty darn soon because that is what we need for our exhibit. Oh, and there's something over here. I think this is watercress, actually. Yeah, that's more watercress. Um, let me move the torches and put bat pick, bat pick and a whole bunch of the other things away. Just for now, so I can see what the heck we're doing. Um, you can go away. Gonna keep my arrows out, just in case. Um, extra shears can go away. All this extra food can go away for now. Food for the dogs. Backup food for the dogs. There we go. Yes. All right. So these are not actually things we can collect because these reeds right here are actually part of the better foliage mod. So that just comes like as a little decorative piece that makes my trees all fluffy and <gasps> fluffy. And, like, look at look at the end. There's an end up there. So that's what that is. Here's some more Mondo. I really love these. And then what are you? This is a piece of coral. Now, are you plant mega pack coral or are you other coral? Oh, I really hope that was a good kind of coral. Oh, geez, ladies, you startled me. So the puppies gathered that up. So there was a little piece of coral, interesting. And I think it was growing out of the gravel, correct? So that's interesting. Now, coral is going to be a, um, coral is not a plant. Coral is a buildup of exoskeletons of very tiny little itty bitty creatures, little organisms. So it's actually kind of like the remains of a living, a living collection of creatures. Oh, I like these things. I like how common they are. We actually are getting quite a lot of these from this one lake, which is pretty good. 
but we're probably gonna need more than that to actually complete. Oh, like these guys! Oh my gosh, look at these! What are you? You're so cool! Ladies! <laughs> Come on, please just pick one of them up so I can see what they are. Thank you! Water mana grass. I think that's what this is, is water mana grass. It is! Look at it! So it starts off as this little guy. Oh my gosh! 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 Okay, that's okay. The other thing I should probably make in season three is the zombie baby daycare. So we're gonna be picking that little guy up. He is now a little zombie baby we can be taking care of. Ladies, do you mind helping me out with this? Well, they probably can't swim fast enough. Goodness! It's a little bit violent over here and there's like a creeper in the distance. Well, he's kind of minding his own business, but... There we go, just to be safe. And I see you, Mr. Skeleton. Well, gracious, goodness me. It's not the most, like, safe area over here. Mr. Skeleton? There you go. Alright, well, hopefully his head- oh, his head popped off. No, that's actually a mouse. I'm really glad I didn't shoot that mouse. <laughs> I was like, no, the skeleton head's coming after us, which happens in this world. Skeletons and zombies can lose their heads when you try to eliminate them, and they'll just chase you down. It's not a good thing, but I do collect the zombie babies to put into our future zombie baby daycare. So I'm totally fine with having that little guy with us. All right, and here are some vines. So there's some ideas. Um, and there's those pretty, pretty vines. I actually want to collect some of those before we go. But you know what? This is actually a pretty good variety for this beautiful lake area. I'm actually very surprised with how many plants we managed to collect just from over here. Ooh, the, more of these guys. And so these are the fully immersed plants. And it's a very good thing we didn't bring... Very, very good thing we didn't bring iris now that I know how much swimming we're going to be doing while we collect these water plants. Alright. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that sunflower. I don't think it's worth it to... Ah! Ah! Fall down a hole and drown. Let me out. Oh, gracious. That was, that was a little bit of a startle. What on earth? Watch out, ladies! Teleport to mom! Teleport to mom! Danger zone over there! Oh, it's a pretty little bird up there. So nice. Oh my, there's a lot of stuff over here. Goodness, oh, what are you? Hello there, horseweed. Well, I don't mind if I collect some of you guys up. Um, There's a little bit of gunpowder from that creeper. Just gonna gather up some of these. Um, Oh, I guess I could start gathering up some of these glowy mushrooms too. I hadn't thought about that. Is there anything over here? Oh, goodness, this area is a lot deeper. So this could actually tell me quite a bit about what I need to be harvesting as well. Ah, that's why everybody was showing up. It opens up into like a little cave thing. I see, I see. Well, we can kind of fix that. Gosh, I'm a... <laughs> I know we haven't moved very far and I mean to explore a little bit further. It's just so exciting. It's just very, very exciting to like be over here and this is part of my world too and some of my territory and I've just never seen some of these things. All right, all right. We need some of the variegated ivy that I see over here. <gasps> it's a mistletoe! Oh my goodness, it's a common mistletoe. I can put this up in the house to kiss darling under. That's so exciting. All right, I'm going to get some of these variegated ivies. No, Mr. Goat. No eating my variegated ivies. Oh, look, there's a couple little floating flowers there. That's really pretty. Um, oh, some gladioli. Okay, is Mr. Goat behind me? He is. No, or she is. No, Mr. Goat. Miss Goat. You can't. You can't have it. All right, let me put these away put junior away well not my junior but like you know baby zombie who will eventually be part of the baby zombie daycare all right you stay back goat ladies protect the gladiolus okay ha there got my gladiolus without the goat stealing them oh gosh there's just a lot to see over here all right oh it looks like there's a ton of stuff over there all right let's go get sunflower because we're getting kind of far from my beloved little little bird and we'll walk over there. I, I thought we would have to be like walking and flying really vast distances. But actually we don't need to go that far to run into quite a few interesting water plants it seems. Sunflower can kind of swim. She's just not like the best at it. Whoa! There's a whole like water area over here just covered in reeds and lava. Ladies, please no. Hopefully they're ignoring the lava. Lily has... Lily! There's Zoe. Lily! Oh, there you are, Lily. Jeez. Uh, Lily has a bad habit of... Um, come here, quick. I need to feed you before Sunflower notices. Do, 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 that I'm feeding you guys ostrich. 
Lily, there we go. All right, yeah, some of, or Lily has a very, very bad habit. Oh, there's an elephant of going into pits of lava. So that's why I worry. Oh, no, there's a little birdie. Oh, oh, it's hurt. Oh, no, come here, come here. I've got plenty of aviaries you can go in. Hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. I'm coming, I'm coming. Here, get in, get in, get in the little safari net. Come here. Gotcha. All right, well, we're going to take care of this little birdie. I saw it take damage, so we'll take it back home, put it safely away. There we go. I'm so glad I brought all the extra safari nuts. All right, so let's check out the water, the things that are growing down here. I don't know if those are either like the foliage mod or if there's something actually down there. So let's take a deep breath and dive on down. Blurp. Blurp. Better foliage. All right, now this, however, is definitely one of those algaes. That is going to be better. So good to know, you guys. So we can expect... Okay, got to get up. We can expect at least a little bit of greenery on the dirt. So I might need to remove all of the grass blocks, actually, and just put down dirt blocks because we can expect a little bit of greenery on the dirt blocks that we have underwater from the Better Foliage mod. So that's good to know. And then we can fill in areas with this algae, which apparently can be really, really deep. Deep, 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 which is good. Do some more swimming. It looks like, oh, lily pads. Look at the cute little lily pads. Now with the mod I'm using, you can also get these really adorable little roots from the lily pads. So I do want to grab a few of those. We need to put our lily pad seller at Lily's uh, gazebo as well, because then we won't have to deforest the entire world of its lily pads. Oh, these are water gardens. All right, very carefully. Ah, oh, dang it. I need to right click, right click on the water gardens. All right, come here, come here little water garden. I really want it. Hang on, ladies. I wonder how many fish they're catching. Okay. All right, you guys, watch out. Watch out. I'm trying to get this. All right, thank you, Zoe. So Zoe picked up the water garden. I'll have to remember that. I come over here, gather these pieces up. All right. Man, this is a pretty good hole. We've got some little algae pieces. You know what? You should probably be able to find that kind of, like this kind of algae pretty easily. I would say it shouldn't be difficult to find because it is like algae. It just grows all over the place. So we might make that easy to find either like it'll just pop up out of the water now and then or an NPC will give it to us pretty cheaply in the future. That shouldn't be a problem. Let's get some of these sacred lotus roots. Um, where the heck? Thank you, Lily. <laughs> Lily must really like these pink flowers. All right, girls. Thank you for helping mom. I, I'm not picking up almost any of this duck potato. What can we do with duck potato? Oh, that reminds me. We need to be looking for plants that we can turn into light blue dye. So I don't see any here. Oh, and here's this huge waterway. See, look at it. It's just this giant waterway filled with these, like, rushes. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, let's see. Nothing I think we really need over here. There's a bit of lava I need to watch out for. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to fly again. So let's get the girls ready. All right, ladies, everybody line up. Lily, Zoe, Alia. Alia, oh, she's sitting down. <laughs> Sorry about that, Alia. I didn't mean to actually make you sit, sit. All right, there you go. And grab Alia. Wonderful. And we're just going to take off on the back of Sunflower. Oh, geez, I thought those deer were like skeletons for a second. And we're going to do some more exploring. Oh my, because I've never even been this far. Oh, look, the little river. <gasps> oh, look at that. It has like this really cool little spot where it created like a little waterway. Oh, hello, Mr. Elephant. I'm sorry. You probably didn't appreciate having a gigantic bird attempting to land on your head. <gasps> oh, I thought it was a fish, but it's just a little mouse. So there's a little mouse over there. <gasps> look at all the greenery. Oh my gosh. Caffordils. Oh my gosh. Lots and lots of greenery that away. Oh my goodness. Oh, and look at all those little duckweeds. Yes. So pretty. Oh my gosh. There's lots of water plants we haven't seen yet over here. Sunflower. Embrace the beauty of the area. <laughs> I love how we haven't even gone that far. You don't have to go that far to be able to find all sorts of cool stuff. Just, I thought we would go further, but geez, we don't need to. All the awesome things are right here. All right. This is some duckweed. More of the little algae pieces. Now you are new, my friend. Come here. I think I've seen you in my little, like, river area where I have leeches before. So this is eelgrass. So this is another freshwater, um, immersed plant. Because you'll notice, like, the reeds, you can't put this deep underwater. But the eelgrass and the algae... <gasps> 
Look how lovely and green this area is. This right here is inspiration. Total inspiration for our river exhibit. In fact, I think I want to mix in some sand to our river exhibit now. And people were actually suggesting not only mixing in like, oh, it's a tiny, tiny lily pads, tiny lily pads. Ooh, and blue orchids. Do they make light blue dye or blue dye? Oh my gosh, and blue orchids for light blue dye. Oh my goodness gracious. Hello, wild chocobo. This is fantastic. And there's a little chicken with a little water egg. Are you like a little water chicken? Oh gosh. And there's these pretty things. Oh, oh, I lost my pretty thing. Oh, no, Lily, we don't want to go down there. My pretty beautiful plant has now been lost to what sounds like a zombie hot spot. So we're going to stay away from that spot. Um, let's go over here. What are those? It looks like mostly the better foliage. Uh, foliage? I cannot pronounce that word. Okay, that's a cow. This bamboo isn't that familiar either. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is. This is so lovely. Oh, I almost don't want to take away the plants from this section. In fact, I won't. I'm not going to take away the plants from right in this particular spot because this is my inspiration for what I want it to look like when we make our own area. So looking at this is for inspiration. I want to gather up lots of these eelgrass. They just have a nice strong color to them. Um, and let's go at least investigate what these other ones are too. Amazon sword and water wisteria. So more things that we haven't really found yet, including more tiny lily pads. Oh my gosh. I don't want to take too many of them because I just hate to like ruin the natural beauty of some areas. But we definitely will have to have that lily pad salesperson who like grows lily pads and sells them to us at Lily's uh, wisteria gazebo now because I want those lily pads. All right, let's get more Amazon swords. Doink, doink. Because they are really cool. And let's see if we can find any of the water wisteria over here. Alright. And here's these guys. So that's... No, these are the Amazon swords. That's right. And you guys are the eelgrass. That's what I meant. Alright. Ooh, duckweed. Come here, duckweed. I want you. Alright. I'm going to gather you guys up because you're all so cool. <gasps> I love it. I love it. Oh, man. And you know, I love plants. But I have not really studied... Plants that you would... Oh, there's some of the bright guys. Perfect. I've not really intensely studied plants that you can find. Um, all right. And let's actually get up for a little gasp of air. Phew. All right. And get over here. And those are poodles. <laughs> and there's a wild... A wild pack of poodles over here. Oh, my gosh. This is, that's really awesome. I really, really love that. That's, that's just amazing. We found a wild pack of poodles. They seem to be doing all right. So I'm not too worried about them. Oh goodness, there's a nice beautiful sulfur shelf mushroom. I love exploring our world. It is just so pretty, even in our own backyard. All right, and I want to get these water wisteria. And even, oh, it's a swimming mole. Oh my gosh, and it's a coral snake. Okay, now that guy we want to stay away from. He is mimicking a venomous water snake. So we definitely don't want to mess with him, but he's pretty cool. I actually wanted to get the water wisteria so I can replant one or two of them. I just really hate, like, over-harvesting some of the areas. Are you going to propagate for me, please? Probably not, darn. So we definitely need to set up... I mean, we'll take some of it. Don't get me wrong, and I like looking at it for examples of how to set it all up, but I just don't want to over-harvest everything, so we're definitely going to be setting up those NPCs to sell the plants to us in the future. That's definitely happening. All right, so we'll have to come up with some creative ways to do that, too. All right, and we've got a raw crayfish somehow, which is awesome. Oh, my goodness. So hang on. Hang on, guys. I know. We're going to go look at your cousins over here. Oh, my goodness. These are pretty. Some little New Guinea impatients. Oh, gosh. They're so lovely. And, yeah, there's a lot of poodles over here. They seem to be doing just fine. Wild poodles. Totally, totally fine. They're just roaming all over the place. Wildflower poodle pack. That's, that's cool. That's cool. And then we're just going to gather up some of these bamboo. Um, and actually, I'm really happy with what types of water plants we've been finding so far. I think I'm just going to take a few more of them. Because it's not like we're going to be back in this area to look at the pretty plants in the water. Except over in the other spot. Alright, there we go. There we go. Gather up a couple more. There we go. Alright. 
Good, good, good. And Sunflower is just happily waiting for us. So, huh. All right, let's review the water plants really quickly while I eat a pumpkin pie. Well, that happened. <laughs> that was, that was, okay. That was kind of hilarious. <laughs> Oh, my little heart. It's okay, little heart. It's okay. Hi, ladies. <laughs> well, that definitely happened. Zoe, that was interesting, wasn't it? Okay, well, a creeper showed up from who knows where and blew me up from behind. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, water plants, Amazon swords, algae. Let's put all these away so I can kind of have a good idea of how many of each we have. So it seems like the most common thing we've really found are these coon's tails, the Canadian water weeds. Um, we have a few water chestnuts that you can actually use as food, really. So it turns into a water chestnut and then I guess you can eat it. That's interesting. Not that many duckweeds, but now we have like a good sampling. This is far more water plants than we have back in our chest at home that we can kind of get an idea of how to start making maybe a nice greenhouse with. And that's going to bring up like a whole nother set of questions. Where to build the greenhouse? What should it look like? How should the NPCs sell the greenhouse items and all of those things? So, hmm. Hmm, and I think I need to investigate this beautiful area. So I'm pretty content with the water plants, especially because this spot right here is just going to be inspiration all over the place. I definitely want to put down some of the sand now. I definitely want to remove all of the grass that I put in so that it doesn't spread over the dirt. Um, basically just make it look really pretty and nice. So that is going to be a protected spot, this little spot right here. I don't know what to call it. I'm a little distracted because I just got blown up by a creeper. But tomorrow we will finish up our exploring little expedition by going off and wandering into this area and seeing what it has to offer because it is very, very pretty over here. Also, it looks like there's some chestnuts growing up there. So we might just check out what's going on over here. But all right, guys. <laughs> My little heart's still pounding from that creeper blowing me up from behind. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and you're enjoying the beautiful adventure out in our own backyard. And I will see you for more adventure tomorrow. Bye-bye.